Scott Whitner and I are out four wheeling out in uh, northern Michigan. He came up from Ohio and um, we set up a couple of Midland radios, these little compact units. And uh, it's been great to keep us in comms while we're traveling around. Whether, you know, if I'm the lead vehicle, I can I can give him a heads up of what's coming up, like a, you know, a deep water hole or a, a bump or something. And then likewise with him. So, not to mention when you're in two different vehicles, it's easier to stay in touch and just keep each other company. But uh, this is the one I've been using right there. We just have to endure recovery number two. First was pulled out of the out of the swamp and then um, we shut the Jeep off and it didn't want to restart. So it didn't like the water. So uh, I'm gonna ask him again. Hold on. Say again. Uh, the check engine lights on. It's probably just cause this thing got its freaking brains rocked. I don't know. He's gonna hate me for videoing this, but you know. Toyota's got to win one once in a while. All right, folks, here's another product that I find to be a key essential item for overland camping, and that is good two-way radio communication. And today we're going to look at a couple of products from Midland Radio. First up is a micro mobile two-way radio called the MXT275. And this little unit here has a uh, uh, the head unit mounted in my center console and then routed up from there up to the dash is the microphone. The microphone has all the controls on it. There aren't any actual controls on the head unit itself. And it's perfect for applications where you don't want to have something mounted on your dash or you have limited, limited space to mount the head unit. So this was the perfect uh, product for, for my application because uh, I don't, I didn't want to mount anything up here or on the dash, just route the headset or the handset from the center console up to the dash and that's also something i can put back in the center console when i'm not using it but when we're on the road camping we've got two kids and uh, two teenage boys and they have a tendency to to wander off so it's nice to have them carry a handheld radio like this while we have the the base unit here in the truck um so about the base unit, about the MXT275, like I was saying, all the controls are right here on the handset itself, which allows me to control everything up here. I don't have to reach into the center console. It's got a, the on off button here on the top. And uh, it also has the channel button. So you can scroll through the various channels. There are 15 GMRS channels as well as eight high-powered repeater channels on, on this unit. Um, it also has the ability to tune into NOAA weather radio to give you the current forecast in your area. Eight winds at 5 p.m. Snow likely. Temperature 27. Northwest wind 6 miles per hour. Well, it sounds like I've got some uh, pretty, uh, pretty darn nice weather in the forecast. Um, you can also... Um, Hit this button and it'll scan through all the channels and allow you to pick up any chatter that are on the channels. Uh, standard menu button to scroll through all your settings and a call button. So anybody on this channel, you can get their attention with, uh, with a call signal like that. Uh, when you are transmitting, you get this red LED lit up. And when you are receiving... Snow is expected to impact the region Tuesday evening into Tuesday night you get the green button or the green light. So we've used this uh, quite a bit, even when we do photography work while we're out doing uh, overland camping, trying to get uh, shots of the truck going through certain obstacles. I'll either have my wife in the truck and I'll be photographing or vice versa. And it's easy to stay in comms and have the driver be able to put the vehicle right where I want it for, for a picture. Um, the other item here from Midland Radio is the GXT 1000. This isn't as powerful as this uh, MXT275, which puts out 15 watts, by the way. This is a five watt handheld unit. Um, also offers great range. Um, it says in the manual, unobstructed, it has a 36 mile range. 
whereas the MXT has a 50 mile range unobstructed. Realistically, uh, in ideal conditions, you're going to get 10 to 15, you know, partially obstructed and five to 10 mile range when it is when you have several obstructions in between uh, the bolt, both units. So back to the GXT 1000. This is a nice little handheld unit, uh, very compact, comes with a rechargeable battery. This was a two pack, came uh, with this desktop base that you can plug into the wall and charge both of these at the same time. Uh, if I remember correctly, it also comes with a car charger, so you can bring this with you on the road. But uh, a lot of the similar features, this actually has 50 different channels. Um, like I said, you get about an eight hour uh, runtime with uh, the onboard rechargeable battery and um, also has the weather capability. It'll see miles per hour. Chance of snow 40%. Wednesday, mostly cloudy. Chance of snow showers in the morning. Anyhow, so it's going to snow, looks like. And you also have that. Same call feature, and you can see how it came up on the head unit. So if I was trying to get a hold of either of my boys while they're out in the woods, that would be a good way to do it. So those are two units that uh, we've had a lot of luck with. Um, very reliable. These are water and splash resistant, the, the handheld units. Um, I will show you how it mounts in the center console. Okay, so I've got the cord routed into the center console here. And as you open it up, you can see the head unit itself. It has a bracket that mounts. I just use a use two-sided tape to mount it to the inside of the console. There's the 12 volt uh, power connection right there. And that USB that you see coming out of it is actually charging that flashlight base down there that you can see the red light on. So it actually has a charging port as well. So a nice feature in this truck is having always having a fully charged 511 um, flashlight down there and good comms with the Midland radios. As we come outside the truck after we just checked out the Midland radio, you can see in the uh, back seat here, actually this is a product from Gray Man Tactical where we keep our backup radios or the handhelds. I ran the antenna wire out the back of the center console underneath the seat, up the back, and you can see the wire right here going out the window and I'll show you on this roof here. This is the antenna with a magnetic base. So it gives a, gives you a great line of sight on top of the vehicle. And I haven't had any problems with it blowing off. It's a pretty solid uh, magnetic base. So all good stuff from Midland Radio.